You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have the pleasure to have in studio with me the city planner, Rob May. Welcome. Hi. Thanks Good for having me Rob. on. Well, you're doing great stuff in Brockton. Um, Brockton's on the upswing. Things are looking up. The downtown's looking great. And there's all sorts of, pl it, it doesn't happen without planning. I know there's a planning Correct. board, there's an economic development agency, but you are the first full-time city planner in Brockton in a long time. Quite a long time. Okay. I think they, you need to have nine more people to work with you, but that's a budgetary thing. I'll agree. Okay. And you did great work in, in the past, but you're trying to involve the community in mm -hmm. planning. Okay. Um, I saw some, you great at promoting on Facebook, there's uh, what's called a blueprint for Brockton. Yes. And you're actually going to set up four listening sessions to actually hear what mm -hmm. the citizens want to see. Correct, correct. Talk about it. Um, well, as you know, um, and on our Facebook page and on our uh, sit, uh, a website that's uh, www.ablueprintforbrockton.com, uh, we're kicking off a sit new citywide comprehensive plan. And as part of this plan, we're going to be hosting four what we call listening sessions um, throughout the community. And so um, over the, uh, there's four dates. We'll be hitting north, south, east, and west. Um, so, for example, on, and I have to read this, I'm sorry to get this right, but on uh, Tuesday, uh, June 14th, we'll be at North Middle School. Uh, Thursday, July 16th, we'll be at South Middle School. Wednesday, July 22nd, we'll be at uh, East Middle School. And Thursday, July 23rd, we'll be at West Middle School. And so from 7 until 10, we'll be holding a, um, a, a public meeting, basically, to uh, engage the residents, local business owners, local property owners, in the planning process. And I think that that's very important for getting the best outcome for our community. Too often uh, you see communities that do these major plans, they do them in a back room and it's, you know, it's a couple of staff members, a couple of the usual suspects, and you crank out a plan and you say, well, there it is. Um, my philosophy and the philosophy that uh, Mayor Carpenter has, has been uh, allowing me to run on is getting as many people involved in the planning process as possible. So we're reaching out to all communities, um, all residents. Uh, we will be having um, translators on, um, on site at these meetings. And so we'll be able to um, do English, Spanish, Haitian Creole, and Cape Verdean Creole. Um, the community has changed a lot in the last 20 years, and we need to make sure that all Brockton residents um, participate in this process. So you talked about comprehensive. There have been plans in, there are plans in place for downtown. Yes. I know you're working on Campello. Correct, um, correct. Citywide, you're at all the four original middle schools that were yes. junior highs back in the day. But what's interesting is I know there's also, there's kind of a, a group and uh, one of our board members from Brockton Community Access, Manny Centeo, Yes. Was on that group. Yes, yes. He asked me to call you to promote this. I was going to do it anyway, but uh, Manny, Manny's a great resource well, for thank the you, Cape Manny. Verdean Association yes. and for us. Um, that's important because I don't recall too many community wide meetings in this city that have had translators, oh, quite wow. honestly. I, 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 um, I almost think it's first. It's a first. Well, it's great to hear that we're doing it. Um, okay. uh, as you allude to, we have a, uh, a leadership group that's helping us guide this. Mm -hmm. um, it's not my plan for Brockton. It's the people's plan for right. Brockton. Mm -hmm. And we have a leadership group that um, is made up of representatives from the seven wards. Mm -hmm. um, in, in, we also have representatives that we're working with the at-large counselors. Um, there are what we call elemental groups. The elements are the chapters in the, in the plan. So there's somebody representing economic development and housing and transportation. But there's also four advocates, and this is the first time that we've done that. So we have a youth advocate, someone who is going to help us reach out to the youth community and get them involved in the plan, represent their views, um, be a conduit uh, between the groups. There is a seniors advocate. Mm -hmm. Um, as we learned just recently, there as, are as many seniors in Brockton as there are um, 
public school students, mm -hmm. um, so it's important to have them involved. Uh, there's also a minority advocate and a um, advocate for immigrants. And uh, those are two very distinct groups in our, in our community and may have different points of view, uh, especially the immigrant community as they've just come to America or they may be second generation. They may view things a little bit differently than the established minority community. So it's important to have all four of those views um, included in this process, as well as the geography of the city. And, and so what are you hoping for? Are you hoping to fill those auditoriums at those four? Are you in the auditorium or the cafeteria? We're going to be in the cafeteria. Which because is good size. These are exercises. Okay. Um, we called it listening tour because we're going to be hearing what people have to say, but it's more about a community exercise. So there'll be a brief presentation that explains what we're doing and why we're doing it, but there's also going to be table exercises. And so we'll have big maps of the city and we'll put them out and we'll ask people about where their neighborhood is. Um, what makes that neighborhood special? Where do they shop? Where do they go for entertainment? How do they get between those two or three different locations? Um, what are the areas of the city that you think that there are opportunities for more development? Where are areas that you would like to preserve and keep the way they are? And, and then um, where are some of the areas that need a little more hand-holding, that need a little more special attention? Um, to help them come around better. There, there's a, a general resurgence in the community citywide, but there's still pockets of Brockton that need a little bit more help. And um, what we hope to identify is through this plan is where those, those locations are, who the community leaders are in those areas, so that we can then reach out um, with all of our resources from City Hall and from the various community groups uh, to get into those places. Now, from what I can gather from the time that this mayor took office and, and bringing you on board with the whole philosophy mm -hmm. is you guys don't want to create plans to just have plans. You don't want plans that are going to sit on a shelf and collect dust and then someone's going to do another study or another plan down the road. You want stuff that's actionable, that's doable. We're running out of lemon pledge. Um, we can't polish everything in my office and get the dust off of it. So we want projects, you're right, that are doable. So there's a large portion of this plan that is, is the implementation guide. And it will set out um, the goals, what the quick steps are going to be to get us in that way, and um, what the long-term goals are, 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 and priorities are. And we will be producing an annual report each year that says, okay, this is goal X. We thought we would be able to accomplish this. We accomplished this plus more, hopefully plus more. Um, and, and really be able to show the community that we are taking the plan seriously and we're implementing their vision for our community. This is the promo segment. They just gave me the one minute cue. So I'm going to wrap sure it thing. and I'll bring you back on and we'll talk a little bit more about the whole Looking forward to it. Comprehensive thing. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Make sure you go out on the 14th of June, the 16th of June, the 22nd of June, and the 23rd of June to go out for a blueprint for Brockton to tell the city what you want to see. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.